update. Should I 25 male tell my friend's 20 female fiancé we were hooking up? They just got engaged and pregnant. Original story. Supposedly, they split up last year during COVID lockdown because he was going to be spending an specified amount of time out of state with his family. She told me they broke up because they didn't want to do long distance. And after that, we were hanging out at my place to keep each other company. I've always been attracted to her, so I didn't mind all the time we were spending. Well, one night we smoked a joint and got handsy and flirty. I've wanted that for a long time, so we went to my bed and became intimate. From there on, we acted like rabbits, basically all the time during lockdown. The thing is, a couple months ago, she tells me came back to our state, and that they decided to get back together as a couple, so we needed to end our thing. It sucked, and I was sad because I did like her a lot, but that's how it goes sometimes. Last week, I heard they decided to get engaged, and that he proposed to her when she found out she's pregnant. It was never my intention to ever tell him I was sleeping with her because they were broken up. Also, I'm not really friends with him as we just see each other sometimes. But I'm learning now that they were never broken up. Or at least according to him. He told me they were doing a long distance relationship and he's happy they managed to stay strong. Just to double check, I got confirmation that they agreed they wouldn't be open to anyone else. And he thinks she was faithful to him that whole time. Now they are engaged and about to have a baby. It's a lot happening and I'm not sure if I should tell him she was cheating on him. This could be messing up a future family and all. At the same time, I would want to know. But what if he prefers not to? I don't know. I'm lost. What should I do? Should I tell him? Now for the top advice before reading the update. Are you sure it's not your baby? That poor other guy. You know, she would never tell him. I wouldn't want to marry someone who was cheating on me for months. I would want to know if I were him. Congrats on the kid, I think. If she was humping you like a rabbit, she surely was less active with poor guy number two. I hope so much for you that the kid isn't yours. That would make things way more complicated. This is going downhill no matter what. What I would do is just stay shut unless they do a DNA test and it's not his, then I would tell. If not, then I would not start drama and drew any family, even if it's actually fake. But I would tell the daughter at some point when she's past 18. Ruin a happy family? She messed up, and that has consequences. Absolutely the long-term boyfriend should know what kind of girl he's about to marry. You're going to have to tell him. There will be backlash. There will be hard feelings. There might even be need for restraining orders if things go really sideways. But it has to be done for no other reason that is the right thing to do. He thought they were LDR the whole time. She probably knew this, or was under the impression that they were over, and she told you they were no longer a thing. You believed her. You didn't have any reason not to at the time. I'm just stating fact. Lots of things can be said in hindsight, but this 100% is not your fault. When they got back together, the pregnancy was discovered. You can't have him raising a child that might not even be his. That's not fair on him as a human being, let alone a father. Also, get a paternity test to make absolute sure. I get what you mean, and yeah, it's true. A down 40 update. Well, he knows. Told him the day before yesterday. I thought about telling her first, but I didn't want her to spin the story and make it seem like I'm the one who's a liar. I just texted him asking if we could meet up. He was already seeming weird that I'd ask him to meet up because I have never done that before. I still had all the texts we sent each other back then. And obviously he knows her number so it doesn't seem like I faked them or something. He was pissed. Like he wanted to punch me. But when it was all out there, he just said he can't talk right now and walked off. That was it. But she was blowing up my phone that night. Asking what I told him because he broke off the engagement. On top of that, he's not replying to her. And I told her all I said was the truth. She came to my place crying about it. First, she was mad, but then she said she's sorry about everything. And she knows she had lied to me too when we were doing our thing. Then I asked her about the baby, but she claims she's not sure. They were already together around the time she got pregnant, but also she knows we were still doing it at the time too. She didn't know how to tell him, and he surprised her with a proposal when he found out about the pregnancy. Obviously now he wants a paternity test, and I told her I need to know too. She asked me what I'm gonna do if the baby's mine, and I said it'll be in its life. All she told me was, okay, good, 
And then we're seeing where we can get a paternity test done, since you guys said it's possible to do it before the baby is born. I'm nervous as hell. Just want to get this done so we know for sure if I'm about to be a father. It's crazy when I think about it. Some of our friends texted me asking if it's true, so word got around already. I haven't heard anything from him, but it's only been a day. Still, at least the whole meeting could have gone worse, and I feel better that it's out there. So, thanks for encouraging me to be honest. Oh, by the way, I don't know why this was a thing in the comments. I guess some people were just lacking reading comprehension because for some reason, you were thinking he was my friend and had it in your heads that I was sleeping with a friend's ex. So, just clarifying to those that for whatever reason thought I'm a piece of crap for breaking the friend code. Lol. He's not my friend. The girl who may or may not be my baby mama is who I was friends with, not him. He was just a boyfriend of my friend. Wonder if people are still not gonna get it, lol. Thought it was pretty clear in my original post. Anyways, that's all the updates I got for you right now. All there is now is to find out if I'm gonna be a dad. You can get a non-invasive DNA test at 7 weeks. I feel sorry for the boyfriend slash fiancé since he will be hurt no matter the outcome. But I'm glad you stepped up and did the right thing. You're a real one. That's what I'm hearing. We're definitely gonna do that. Only if she consents to it. If she decides she doesn't want to, it'll be a court battle or just wait until the baby is born. I don't actually get a say. You did the right thing. I'm sure if you had any idea they were still together, attracted to her or not, you wouldn't have slept with her. I would start making a game plan in case the baby's biologically yours. She can have a paternity test without the baby being born, and it will not harm the baby at all. It's up to you how involved you want to be, but wanting to be involved is going to be the best for the child if it is yours. I would not recommend getting into a relationship with her. Just stay as a child's father. And if it's not yours, well, honestly, that's the best case situation. I would not think her ex would talk to you, especially if the kid is yours, so I wouldn't count on hearing back from him. Definitely not if she was in a relationship. I've never wanted to be that guy who does something that messed up. Yeah, I know, so we're trying to find a place that does that. Like, I'm mentally preparing for it to go either way. I'll be there 100% if it's mine. Not with her, yeah, I agree. I'll just be there for my baby and help her however she needs. Talk to a lawyer ASAP. Get a custody slash visitation agreement written up. Also get a child support agreement. While either of these can easily be modified or overturned by a judge, this gives you a recourse and leverage if she wants to try dangling the child in front of you as a bait to get something, or at least if she wants to just say, no, you can't see them. Under no account should you trust her to follow word-of-mouth handshake-only custody agreements. Just don't. She's a proven liar and manipulator. Always get it in writing. Understand that what she says means nothing. Not making that same mistake of believing anything that comes out of her mouth again. My dad knows some good family lawyers. Once I got confirmation that the baby is mine, then I'll be making calls. Next story is titled, My girlfriend admitted after a year that she had a miscarriage, when in reality, she had terminated. Looking at the title, I realize it might confuse some, so here's an edited version. My girlfriend admitted she had termination instead of a miscarriage. My 30 male, girlfriend 28 female, were trying for a baby last year. She got pregnant twice, but would start bleeding for what she said was a miscarriage, and she seemed genuinely heartbroken. Yesterday, she said that she needed to confess something, saying that she hasn't been honest with me and said that both of her miscarriages were actually from her getting termination pill. She said that she wanted to see how I reacted to something like that, and when I comforted her, she really liked the extra attention and did it a second time. She started saying that she was sorry and wanted to try again. But I was extremely pissed that she would do something like this. I told her to pack her bags and get out of my house. I support women getting the procedure, but this was unacceptable. This morning she texted me about 50 times begging me to take her back, and I ignored each call and text from her. When she had lost the pregnancies, it was really upsetting for me, and I went to therapy with her to try and get past the grief. Now that I know she was lying, and I don't think I can trust her anymore after she did what she did. What is the best way to move on from this? Edit. Her sister just texted me saying that now she's threatening to end herself. Now for the top advice. Jesus, there is no moving on from this. She needs serious psychological help. Absolutely do not have a baby with this woman. I saw your Reddit, Opie. 
Contact the police and let them know she needs a wellness check. She also needs psychological help. Terminating a baby and lying about it as a test, then doing it again because she liked the attention? It's just not normal behavior by any means. It really makes you wonder what other weird things she's been doing. Listen, I am as pro-choice as they come, but this is freaking bananagrams. Intentionally getting pregnant in order to secretly terminate and garner sympathy over a fake miscarriage? That is next level. You made the right choice. I don't see how there can ever be any trust after this. She needs some kind of mental health care to get to the root of her issues. And maybe heading back to therapy yourself to process this is a good place to start. It's a pretty serious betrayal that could affect your ability to trust and form a healthy attachment with a future partner down the road. Getting procedures because you're not ready to be a parent is acceptable. Hell, it's even encouraged, since the kid doesn't deserve to be raised in a negative living condition. But getting it for the sake of attention? Behind her significant other's back? And lacking the sympathy that came with it? This woman should never have kids again. I never wished that on anyone before, but this is some psychotic crap. Wow, I've heard of mothers making their kids sick for sympathy. I'm guessing this is how some start. It's possible. If your ex is threatening self-harm, let emergency services handle it. Don't get involved further with her. Last story is titled, Girlfriend's sister is saying she's pregnant with my child. Reddit's probably not the best place for this, but I'm 25 male really freaking confused and not sure what to do. Months back, we were at my girlfriend's, 25 female, cousin's house. It was a lot of people we didn't even know. Everyone got drunk. Like, super drunk. As in people were jumping to his pool naked drunk. I've only been blackout drunk one other time in my life, but this one was the worst. I literally don't remember anything. My girlfriend had to carry me away because I couldn't even walk on my own. I slept in one of the beds because we were gonna spend the night there. But my girlfriend had to drive one of her friends home. Sometime later, not sure what time it was, but it was super, super early. I wake up and have the worst hangover of my life. But I'm also naked except for my shirt and socks. The sheets are sticky. All I could remember are snippets here and there of someone on me, but literally no idea who the hell with. I called my girlfriend freaked out, and I remember I was crying because I felt like I cheated on her but don't remember anything of it. She had to stay longer at her friend's because she was throwing up a lot and ended up falling asleep there. We talked about what happened that day, and she definitely thinks I was violated because she saw the state I was in. But the thing was, I had no idea with who. Her cousin had lots of random friends who never met who were there, and it says he doesn't remember seeing anyone come to the rooms after my girlfriend took me there to sleep. Now, I'm learning her sister, 22 female, is pregnant. She came to see me in private. She's saying we did it. That she went to the restrooms down the hall from where I was sleeping, and I got flirty with her. And we acted on it. And according to her, she felt guilty for betraying her sister, but she was drunk and wanted to forget about it. We never mentioned the violation thing to her sister because I didn't want anyone to know about it. She told me she's sorry, that she didn't mean for it to happen. But she's pregnant now and feels I had a right to know as a father. I feel sick. My girlfriend doesn't know yet. I don't know how I'm supposed to tell her that her sister was the one that did that. And not only that, but her baby could be mine. Before anyone says to speak to a therapist, I'm already on a wait list for that, so that's covered. But just please help me on what's the best course of action here. How do I tell my girlfriend? Get a paternity test. You were definitely taken advantage of. But that doesn't mean that this is your child. I am for sure. Just don't know why lie about something like that. Especially with how it happened. Still, get a test. She was very drunk, as she stated. And could have slept with any number of other people that night. Or any night near that night. Don't be on the hook for someone else's child because you don't know why she would lie about it. People are crazy. She's an offender, so she's shown herself to be absolutely crazy. Tell your girlfriend. Tell her the full story to get the police involved. I would tell her the identity of the offender at the end, as she may need some counseling as well after that. You were violated. I'm so sorry. She obviously was not nearly as impaired as you if she remembers everything, so she took advantage of the state you were in. None of this is your fault. However, I do think you need to tell your girlfriend. She's already said she thinks you were taken advantage of, and doesn't think you cheated. 
If you're worried she'll be angry, I think the only one she will be mad at is, rightfully, her sister. Opie. One, your girlfriend sounds like a keeper. Two, you should get a lawyer if you can't afford one. Three, don't tell her you believe she took advantage of you until you have talked to a lawyer. Because she could easily claim the opposite. Get the lawyer's advice. But I suggest you should get documentation that she had slept with you willingly. And that she remembers you being really drunk. Send her a text saying something like, I really, really don't remember what happened that night. I was so drunk. So tell me again what happened? Or something like that. Then she can't retract her claim later. Four. But also, I think there's a decent chance she's making it up and slash or that the baby is someone else's. Even if she did force you. So if she really is pregnant, you should demand a paternity test. Is she going to keep the baby? She says she is. If you, Opie, are drunk passed out on the bed, how are you suddenly up, alert and flirting with her? She said she wanted a restroom down near the room where you were lying in the bed passed out. Did she come to your room or what? Or does she claim you were up, out of bed, out of that room and being flirty with her near, in or outside the restroom? It's really important to find out where this flirting took place, because it sounds made up. And like she's flipping the script to put the blame on you for initiating the situation, when it may well have been her coming into the room where you were passed out and climbing on top of you. It sounds like she's trying to cover her own butt. Don't let her railroad you. And it's a very good idea to get a lawyer right now before she blabs her story to everyone first. Agreed. Those are all valid points. I'm concerned that the sister might try to flip the story and claim he took advantage of her. Opie needs to inform his girlfriend and get the police involved.